Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hidden Artifacts channel. I'm gonna do it. I'm going out in the middle of winter. We got a special edition of the Hidden Artifacts channel for you here. There's a lot of snow on the ground. I'm kind of crazy. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna give it a shot because I know you guys want a video. Here we go. Let's do it. Just kidding, I'm in Florida. Okay, first target we've got is out. There is. And it looks to be what probably is going to be a penny. I hate to say it. It's pretty toasted. Oh well. I'll try cleaning that up later, see if it's anything good. Okay, we got something here off the uh, water line and I think there we go it's right in this area oh there it is what the heck is that is a pyramid shape. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. That's strange. It's heavy. Feels like lead. If anybody has an idea what that might be, let me know. I think I just found a ring. I'm so sorry. Let's get her out of here. He found a pirate. A pirate ring? Maybe. <laughs> it might be a pirate ring. I think it's hand hammered. It was coming up silver, so. Cool. Good find. Sorry I couldn't uh, record this earlier, but the wind was crazy and it was making all my audio muffled but i am on sanibel island which is uh southwest florida uh came here for vacation just for a few days and i packed my metal detector of course um been on the beach now for about three hours been going up and down found lots of cans lots of uh fishing weights and uh a little silver ring which i'm pretty happy about uh, but nothing, nothing too great. And, uh, you know, one of the things that about the hobby of metal detecting is you get stopped every five minutes. People asking you what's the best thing you ever found. How long does it take? How long do you do it? Is it expensive? Did you find anything today? All of my blah. <laughs> but that's okay. It gets people excited. They like to stop and watch, especially the kids. And uh, if I find anything, I usually throw it their way. So found a couple quarters, a couple pennies, and a lot of the kids got those, um, which was kind of cool. But couldn't really 
record much when I was digging only because it was just it was just too tough and I don't want to get my detector wet I was kind of close to the water line but I'll do a little recap here in a little bit and I'll show you uh, what I did find nothing too great other than the ring but it was still fun nonetheless and it is gorgeous down here it is close to 90 degrees not a cloud in the sky it is perfect I'm having a great time The other thing I thought about is the Ace 250 is not supposed to be all that great for the beach, and I, I gotta say, it's it's actually perfect. I have had no issues with it whatsoever, at least on the salt water. A lot of people online were saying that it was gonna mess with the, uh, you know, interference, and I was gonna get a lot of false positives, and I really haven't. I just, uh, I think it was like two bars to the left of the nickel, I got rid of that, and as soon as I did that, uh, took the sensitivity dump maybe by two, it was perfectly fine. No, no problems at all. It seems to find things just fine. So, tons of uh, aluminum painted shell. It's kind of funny. Pull tabs, found tons of those. I just kept one. <laughs> uh, over here we got some fishing weights, three round ones and a pyramid. Uh, modern 2017 penny. This is a crusty one. I can't figure out what that is yet. And then silver ring which I've been cleaning up and it's actually starting to uh, show silver. So I'm gonna get that polished up when I get home. All in all, fun time. All right guys, thanks again for watching. I have a blast doing this and I cannot wait until it gets better weather in Michigan so that I can go out again. Uh, this just got me right back into the thick of things again, just being out here doing it. Um, I did manage to sell one of the rings that I found uh, the Platinum Ring, which is one of my first videos that I did, uh, that sold for $600. I'm pretty happy about that. So that's uh, almost all the way to an Equinox 800, which is exactly what I want to buy. So maybe by the time I go detecting again in the summer, I'll have an Equinox, unless it's uh, still backordered. <laughs> Who knows? All right, until next time, guys, take it easy. Keep digging.